Another rock and roll marathon is just about wrapped up as some of the last few stragglers just made their way across the finish line. You're taking a live look now. Every year, thousands of runners from all over the world hit the Las Vegas Strip to put their endurance to the test. Darlene Melendez joins us live now from the finish line to tell us how this marathon feels more like a party than a race. Darlene. Good evening, Sasha. Yeah, it's actually that party is over now, but all day today, the energy was just contagious for the 10th annual Rock and Roll Marathon here in Las Vegas, as 40,000 runners were just ecstatic to make their way across the finish line. Three, two, one. And they're off. It's the 10th annual Rock and Roll Marathon in Las Vegas, from day into night. 40,000 people ran down the Las Vegas Strip. 20 more? 20 more to go. <laughs> that sounded a lot worse <laughs> now that I said it aloud. The marathon bringing in runners from every state and from people around the world here to enjoy everything Las Vegas has to offer. It's flat. Back at home, I think it's 11 oh degrees. God, yeah. oh so God. you can't beat that. A total party. Of course, it wasn't a party without the king himself to cheer them on. Welcome to Las Vegas, everybody. This is the king of rock and roll. You guys having fun tonight? Each runner had his or her own reason for participating. To try to stay healthy and stay young. We decided to renew our vows. We just had an anniversary of 23 years. New or experienced, these runners all had one thought in common. If it weren't for the, you know, all the excitement and all the people cheering you on, it'd be hard to just hit the pavement, you know, for two and a half, three hours. Running down the strip. Not a bad idea at all. We said if we're going to make bad decisions, this is probably the best bad decision we could make. <laughs> and I'm sure many of us felt that traffic all day today as we were waiting for those 40,000 runners to make their way across the finish line. Well, good news for all of you at home. Most of those uh, freeway exits that were closed have reopened tonight, and all of those street closures should be reopening soon. Reporting live, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.